Good morning, my 587 subscribers as of today. Um, all interested in self-publishing of some sort, uh, which is great. You know, the more that uh, get on board, the better. And uh, not just in low content, although that's uh, also what I'm talking about. I want to talk about all aspects of um, self-publishing. So what I want to talk to you today about is chapters and how big, how small do you need them? What are they? So firstly, chapters are important uh, for a lot of reasons. Chapters are stories really within a story and on their own, they wouldn't make any sense at all. And another way to um, to look at them is you've watched a TV series and you've come to the end of episode one and they kind of leave you in a bit of a cliffhanger most of the time and they want you to watch the next one and it works because you've finished off that episode and you've gone, oh no, no, it's coming close to an end, it's coming close to an end. And then it ends, and you can't wait, sometimes. You can't wait for the next episode. But, they're all the ep but all the episodes are part of a bigger story. And that's the way you can look at chapters. So, ten uh, episodes in a, in a series is like ten chapters in a book. It's all important. They're all important to each other, but on their own, they'd make no sense at all. So, and it's to, it's to break the book up, but to encourage people to read the whole of the book. If you had no chapters, and there has been books with no chapters, if you had no chapters, then, you know, it might not be so easy to read. You know, it, it might not be so easy to write. You know, so so really you need to break your book up into these portions um, for the benefit of yourself and the benefit of the reader more than anything. Because they need a break. They may say, okay, right, you know, I'm going to read chapter one today. Now, presuming they can read chapter one in a day or in, in an hour or just before bed, they get into bed, they open the book and they go, okay, I'm going to read this chapter tonight. So, how many words will that be? Well, let me just finish this bit first. So, people like to have a break between chapters. Not everyone, but a lot of people do. So, it's important not to make the chapters too big. They're going to be as big as you want them to be, or, or as they're going to be. But you, you do have control. You do, you, you know, you can juggle the story to break it up to where you want. All chapters don't have to be the same size. So, you know, you could end a chapter a little bit earlier, 2,000 words in, you could end the next one at 5,000 words in. It really, it doesn't make all that difference, but a little bit of consistency in the size of your chapters helps the reader because they know they've got time to read the next chapter before they fall asleep or before or during their lunch break or on the bus ride home or whatever it is they know they've got the time to read that or not so they know to set aside some time if it's a bigger uh, if the chapters are bigger maybe a chapter on the weekend or something like that so give them an easy read give them a, an easy way to navigate your book but give them something at the end of a chapter close that chapter that's that story within a story with what happened what's going to happen next make them think what's going to happen next okay in, in a mild sort of way if you if you look at this chapter from uh one of my books the next day i awoke with so much energy i felt like i could have cycled all day without stopping until i reached the border by evening and just 18 miles shy my tank was empty 
I found a campsite and set up the tent as quickly as I could so that I could fall asleep looking forward to crossing the border in the morning. Now it's nothing super exciting but it's exciting enough if you've already read so many of the chapters and you want to know what happens when you cross that border. You want to know. So you're looking forward to the next chapter. And I try to structure all my chapter, chapters like that. And, uh, I say chapters. <laughs> Maybe that should be a word. But um, I try to structure all my chapters in books like that. And it, uh, it works. And most people do their chapters like that. So how big a chapter should you create? I mean, what size? Well, ideally, like I say, you want something that people can read um, in a short space of time before bed or on the bus ride or whatever it is, like I said. So anywhere between two and five thousand words is, is, is pretty, pretty fair. It's pretty standard. Um, and a book of 10 or 15 chapters is pretty fair too. So, uh, obviously, if you've got a book of 300,000 words and you're trying to squeeze them into 2,000 words in a chapter, you're going to have a hell of a lot of chapters. So, but if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. It's your book and you can create it any way you like. Have no chapters if you don't want. But if you're thinking of the reader, um, give them something bite-sized chunks of book to read. And um, you can break it down. You can say, well, okay, but how does my, how does my chapter end? How can, I, how can I go from one chapter to the next? How can I break my book up? Well, you'll know. You'll see it. You'll see it right there. There's a, there's, a, there's a chance for you to go, okay, well, what I'll do here is, and it might be, it might be a thousand words earlier, a thousand words later, two thousand words earlier, two thousand words later. It might, but there'll be a, there'll be a chance for you to stop that chapter and give the reader um, something to think about, let them assess what you've talked about, assess what that chapter meant, let them let them soak it in and go, you, you know, I really enjoyed that. You know, it, as an episode in a TV series, they all really enjoyed that one. I didn't enjoy series, the episode two, I enjoyed episode three, didn't really enjoy. You see, it's the same. It's the same thing. And give them something to um, to look back on and to... Yeah, to, to enjoy before they start the next one, which they're really looking forward to. And that's the way to do a chapter. That's the way a lot of writers do a chapter. So the way I do my chapters. It gets people reading all the way to the end, where you'd like to think anyway, unless they've sort of decided this book's not for them. But you can only do so much. You know, you can't please everybody. But you want to please somebody. So keep your chapters bite size and ending with a bit of a cliffhanger or at least with the thought of what's going to happen next and just really just think of it as tv series as tv episodes and uh, you won't go you won't go far wrong i hope that helps and uh have a great day it's uh, raining as usual here in in the UK, in uh, not so sunny Cheshire. And uh, yeah, take it easy.